Okay, so time for part two. Supercard special uh, secret project. Uh, started fitting the stuff up. I, I know I told you in the last video that I was going to do the nose first. And then it kind of hit me. These, uh, these wheel openings are in, are in stone. So if we got the nose in the wrong spot and these didn't fit right, we'd have to remount the nose. And man, we don't, we don't want to get into it. We only want to cut things once. You don't want to have to put it back together. So we've got it sitting on here. What I did is I put two pieces of this little three quarter inch, uh, I think they're old bed slats or something. They, they go all the way out each side. That'll, it's under the stand or above the stand and under the chassis. So it's, it's simulating the, uh, the bottom of the chassis from side to side. So the pods will sit there. They won't, you know, be too low in the front, anything like that. Um, it's kind of, you got what you got. I mean, they give you a little extra room here, I think, for tire growth, probably. But uh, even some of this stuff here is going to need to be trimmed out. And what I mean by trimmed out is these panels are, are blanks, right? This is the way they come right out of the mold um, with a big, thick flange here. Big, fat, thick. Thick, 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 and it do, you don't have to leave it this way. You don't have to leave all of this here. Um, you could, I mean, the pods are really only like this. You, you could cut and trim all this stuff out. Just leave a little bit here to give it some, you know, to reinforce that that radius edge. Um, you could probably cut this down all the way down to, the, you know, where they've got here. That all, almost looks like a mold mark. So, um, yeah, a whole bunch of it can get cut off compared to that side there. This one won't even go on here. Because of what uh, what, what the John's got going here with his little diffuser deal, <clears throat> you know, it's uh, it, it's about you know frame rail to frame rail width. And once we started sitting these things up here to see you know where we'd need to cut it, again, once you cut it off, putting it back on not so easy. So uh, we kind of measured and look, these parts are are from the uh, from the panel that's on the cart right now, but this was actually uh, about a three inch width here. When we set the, the panel up onto the cart, we were still, the tire was still in board of the wheel with her three inches. So we just kind of, you know, you just, you use round numbers, man. You, you go three inches, you draw a line, you cut it off. Um, this was uh, the back of the panel here, right? This would be obviously opposite side. Right, but the whole back of the panel, we cut that out so we could get around everything, up and around everything back there, even though we've taken the bumper off. And then this was from the uh, the front. This was from up in here. Uh, obviously on the other side, you follow. But it uh, once we, we needed some clearance, one for the for the, the, the caliper to move, but we needed to be able to move the, the front of this in. I mean, it was sitting way out here uh, because, you know, that pan, that, that, again, these are blank panels. You're going to have to trim them to fit. Uh, we're still going to have to do a little more cutting if he wants to go ahead and, and turn this thing 100% in each direction. I mean, he's, that's more than enough to get around anywhere he's going. But, he, you know, he may want us to cut a little bit more out of there uh, to make sure... You know, I don't know if they, they get into the grass or they spin out, they can turn it all the way around. Uh, you start cutting much more of that out and it kind of defeats the purpose, right? Because the, the nose is going to be here. You wanted that air to come in through and out and all that. So um, we'll see. We'll just play it by ear. Um, I think, you know, he's probably just leaving it up to me. So we'll go with it, uh, you know, until we get things a little more in stone. But uh, we had to remove the rear bumper. We're going to have to cut and, and notch, add uh, length to it, and alter it a bit. Uh, he's John said, go ahead and cut it up. Nerf bars can't even use them. They don't fit the contour of this pod at all. As you can see, here's the old one here, and here's the here's the new pod, and, and, and not even close. So uh, we'll call our buddy Ad McGlone down at uh, Jaguar Carts down in Atlanta, and he'll uh, we'll send him, uh, if we have to, I'll make a... Um, a full size drawing of the tube, right? And give him the measurements and stuff. I'll fold the piece of paper up, put it in an envelope, mail it to him, and he'll bend it perfect. Um, and, I mean, he's he's two for two with me. I mean, I mean, you know, he's probably ten for ten with me. But uh, just on the last few things that we've done videos about the front bumper on the F one twenty five and that uh, uh, seat seat back 
for for the Yamadog cart. Uh, per, perfect bends. Give them give them a dimension, and it's perfect. So um, yeah, so we're 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 making progress. Day two, got to get these these side pods on. Not worried about cutting it around a pipe. Not worried about fitting in the airbox and all that stuff yet. Just getting them in place. Working us up something. Uh, we're going to need Nerf bars to mount these things to so they're solid. Uh, and then we'll go ahead and we'll get them in place, you know, enough to where we can get the nose fit up to it. Make sure there's no, um, there's no, uh, uh, we got the, 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 the pitch is right. You know, we, we have already set up everything in the front and neutral. Um, and John's give us a dimension from here to the ground. Uh, to start with for starting dimension. So we'll get we'll get that set up right We'll make sure you're sure there's no yaw in it um, that it's straight and it fits both the pods correctly and all that stuff And you know that that's when that's going to dictate exactly where the front of these things sit right because they're they're formed Right, it's it's got to fit together uh, the way it's molded. So uh, I Thought this was going to be a little easier than it is but it's not that tough. It's not that big a deal. Um, once you start doing things like this that are, are, are um, simulating surfaces and, 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 and parameters and, and uh, what have you, it makes it a lot easier. And, man, I've done this a zillion times, not maybe to one of these carts, but I'm going to be doing this for, for my 250 one day, too. So, um, yeah, it's all good. We'll, uh, we'll get her worked up and... Uh, and we'll see how uh, see how things come up. We're only in uh, video two, day two, or whatever of, of working on this thing. Clip number two. So a uh, lot more to come. Again, it's uh, July 25. Uh, let's see, it's still well over 80 here at about 7, 7:30 at night out in the garage. Uh, it was 100 degrees out here the other day on, on the back wall. So uh, we're 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 working on it. We're uh, we're we're once things get rolling, man, it'll really start taking shape. So um, that's it for today. Uh, we're making progress, taking trimming little pieces off at a time, not taking too much, easing our way into position. Um, as my old uh, auto body school uh, owner slash instructor used to tell me, um, they taught us how to do brazing and patching panels with brazing instead of using a MIG welder, which is what you'd use now, right? And, and um, uh, you know, you're banging out dents or whatever. I'm trying to bang a dent out in, in one blow, trying to cover it with Bondo in, in one, one spread, right? And he's just laughing, shaking his head. He says, it's a series of taps or a series of blows. Um, you know, you can't just bang out a dent in one blow. You know? So you can't just take one swipe at it. You got to sneak up on it. Uh, again, uh, with sheet metal, you can knock it back and forth with this stuff. Once you cut it off, it's gone. So can you put it back on? Theoretically, yes, but you don't want to. So that's it. Uh, that's it for the 25th. We're sneaking up on it. Um, once we, like I said, once we get these in place, we can get the nose set. Mark where, uh, where it gets bolted on here, 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 and all along here. Um, it shouldn't need any, any upper supporting. Or, or Zeus fasteners up top because it, it's going to be connected and, and attached here. So, um, I don't know. We'll see. We're learning as we go. Hang in there, y'all. It'll get better. Godspeed. God bless. We're praying for you. Pray for me, too.